My name is Howard Rosenblum. This is my sign name, and I am the CEO of the National Association of the Deaf in the United States. I want to thank the Enable staff and uh, for welcoming me here and for all of you to come. I'm so happy to see all of you, all of these folks who are interested in the information that we'll be sharing this week. And I hope what I share will be as beneficial to you as it's already been beneficial to me. It's only been a few hours and already I feel like I've learned so much. A little bit about myself. I am both a computer engineer by trade and an attorney at legislation. Oh, wow. I spent 31 years as an attorney and have been with the National Association of the Deaf for more than 15 years. So I advocate for the civil rights of deaf and hard of hearing people in the United States. So we are continually advocating and fighting for the advancement of their rights in education and employment, in medical situations, communication, all of the venues we've been talking about so far. I want to let you know that my experience in America and how that compares to what I've seen here and how it parallels in terms of my experience. I've had the pleasure of Arusha Michaels coming and visiting us and working with us as a fellow for three months. So we learned a lot from each other during that time. And she was wonderful in providing us with, as a resource to Kenya, as an ambassador of Kenya to the United States. And we've learned a lot about inclusivity and technology without proper engineering and without the appropriate legislation enforcement. Both are key. For engineering, computer engineering, what I often see is that there are many innovations that are brilliant but are built without us. All innovations going forward must always include all of us at the table. Not just general disabilities. I'm sure all of us will agree here that the experiences of a deaf person are significantly different than those of a blind person and even more different than those who use wheelchairs or those who have other different disabilities. We all have our own individual experience and we have our own needs from computer engineering. And so we need innovators who will work with us, not for us, with us. And that should be a legal mandate. All corporations should and will work with us to make sure that our lives moving forward is accessible for all and leaving none of us behind. So what does that mean for us now? We're here, we've convened together voluntarily. We're all here in this room with good intentions and we all have a common goal of inclusivity and accessibility. But there's so many people outside of this room that aren't privileged to be here today with us who are working and working in some ways against us and being barriers to change. And that's why we need legislation to protect us. All of us, we've said already today in the conference that at some point, many of us, if not all of us, will experience a disability. So again, this is legislation for all. For example, right now, deaf people in Kenya. If you had a fire in this hotel, ooh, let me find some wood to knock on. <laughs> God forbid that we had a fire in the hotel. There are no fire alarms with assistive uh, alerting for deaf people. So if we were in our rooms going about our business, we wouldn't know about the fire. If we happen to know that there was a fire, we have no accessibility, no way to actually call in emergency um, support services. That has to change with us. So that means not only legislation mandate, but the legislation must speak to standards 
and that must be inclusive of perspectives and experiences of all the groups of disabilities. So we need to go back to the basics, education and employment. If there's no education and no employment for people with disabilities, all the innovation and all the technology in the world will not help us. We must have excellent schools for all children with disabilities. We have to have excellent education by and for people with disabilities who teach our children with disabilities. Who else to role model how to live in this world with a disability than a person with a disability themselves? With that, children with disabilities will be incredible employees one day, future senators, attorneys, presidents of this country. And I hope that happens in our lifetime. Thank you.